Welcome to my presentation. This presentation is part of the playlist Integrals of Exponential Functions. In this presentation, we are we're going to solve example problems related to integrals of exponential functions. Let us look at an example. Let us say we want to evaluate this function, integral 5x squared e to the power of x cubed dx. We're going to use the exponential rule to solve this example problem. Okay. So let us substitute u as equal to x cubed, u as equal to x cubed, like that. Since u is a function of x, we're going to differentiate this function u with respect to x. When we differentiate that, this is what comes out of that. du by dx is equal to 3x squared. d by dx of x cubed is 3x to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 3x to the power of 2, like that. So I can also rewrite this one as du is equal to 3x squared dx. So if I have to express it in terms of dx, I can write it as dx is equal to 1 over 3x squared du. Now we can substitute u as equal to x cubed, like that, and then dx as equal to 1 over 3x squared du, like that. Now into the given example problem and then solve the solve it using the rules of integration. Our given problem is integral 5x squared e to the power of x cubed dx. So wherever we see, so here we are we have integral 5x squared. I didn't change anything there. e to the power of x cubed. Wherever I see x cubed, I replaced it by u e to the power of u. Instead of dx, I'm I'm writing 1 over 3x squared du from here and then let us see what what happens here so we have an x squared in the numerator x squared in the denominator so those terms cancel out we have a 5 in the numerator 3 in the denominator so 5 over 3 is a constant so i can pull it out of outside of the integration process integral and we are left with integral e to the power of u du so integrating each function we have we know that integral e to the power of u is e to the power of u plus c. So therefore, we can write it as 5 over 3 e to the power of u plus c, okay? where c is a constant of integration. So now we want to express our solution in terms of x, not in terms of u. We started to say let u be equal to x cubed. So therefore, wherever we see u, we're going to replace it by x cubed. So we can write it write this as 5 over 3 e to the power of x cubed plus c, where c is a constant of integration. Okay, This is the way we want to solve example problems um, which involve exponents, which involve exponents. Let's look at another example. Let's say this time we want to solve an example problem which is shown as follows. Integral x squared plus 2x times e to the power of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. This is all as a power of e. x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 is the, this whole um, trinomial is a, is a power of e here times dx. Okay. We're going to use the exponential rule and the rules of integration to solve this example problem. So let us substitute the the power of e, which is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1, as equal to u. Let u be equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. u is a function of x. So we are going to differentiate the function u with respect to x. du by dx we can write as 3x squared plus 6x. How? d by dx of x cubed is 3x squared. d by dx of 3x squared is 3 times 2 is 6x plus d by dx of minus 1 is 0, so I did not write that. So du by dx is equal to 3x squared plus 6x. So I can express this as du is equal to uh, 3x squared plus 6x within parentheses times du. I brought this denominator to the side of this, side of this expression here. So if I have to express it in terms of dx, I can write, write this as dx is equal to 1 over 3x squared plus 6x times du, like that. So therefore, dx I can also write as 1 over, since 
three is a constant. Three is a three is common between three x squared and six x. I can pull out three as common. So therefore, three times x squared plus two x is what is left. Now we can substitute u as equal to three x squared plus uh, x cubed plus three x squared minus one, and dx as one over three times x squared plus two x times du into the given example problem and use the um, use the rules of integration to solve this example problem. So the <clears throat> so we have integral x squared plus 2x, nothing happens there, e to the power of this whole expression what we have here, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1, we're going to replace that by u as shown here, times wherever we see dx, I'm going to write as 1 over 3 times x squared plus 2x du. That I wrote it in parentheses as you can see here. So therefore now, as you can see here, we have x squared plus 2x in the numerator, x squared plus 2x in the denominator. Those terms cancel out. We have 1 over 3 as a constant, so we can pull it outside of the uh, integration process, 1 over 3 integral. We are left with e to the power of u du, like that. So we know that integral e to the power of u du is equal to e to the power of u plus we're going to add a constant of integration c. So therefore we can rewrite this as 1 over 3 e to the power of u plus c. Again, we want to express our answer in terms of x, not in terms of u. So we started to say that let u be equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. So therefore we're going to replace u as 1 over 3 e to the power of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 plus c, where c is a constant of integration. So this is the way we're going to solve example problems related to integrals of exponential function. In my next video presentation, we will be solving more example problems related to integrals of exponential function.